welcome back to another weekly vlog i am starting this one out with a another grocery haul because all we do is eat on this channel um but we're preparing for Literally eating meal prep right now and we just went shopping at kroger orzo with italian sausage oh my bacon God, that just smells. Ooh. it just smells like how pasta would smell i know but like I haven't done anything today, so. She, she's talking shit when she like, literally. It smells like, you know, like meat. Like, oh, I hate the smell of like cold meat. What? It just is gross to me. We are preparing for the hurricane that's coming through Florida. It's coming up through Georgia. So we're going to get some crazy weather over the next couple of days. So we decided to stock up like the rest of America. <laughs> I'm more afraid of me than that hurricane. A little, little bit of rain ain't going to hurt nobody. Right now. I got some tuna creations, just like these flavored tuna packets. Because those are easy for lunch. And I'm going to make little crackers with, um, with that and some cucumbers as well it's like little bites i thought those were i saw those on like instagram or something looks really good <laughs> okay then i got some cool whip zero sugar and zero sugar cheesecake jello or pudding mix and i'm also gonna make some pumpkin spice dip with that and I got some pureed pumpkin as well. And I'm gonna use apples to dip. So I think that's gonna be really good. The cheese section in Kroger or Whole Foods or something like that, wherever they have like the cut uh, assortment of cheeses, they also have little baskets that are left over from when they do cut the cheese under $5. So you can try a bunch of little like gourmet cheeses. I got some sharp cheddar. I got pizza gouda, which I thought sounded really yummy. And I got raclette, raclette. Oh no, this is Mimolette. Never tried that before, so I'm excited to try that. And I also grabbed Pumpkin Spice Bella Vitano. So, I don't know, sounded good. And then I got all the ingredients for white chicken chili. I'm gonna make some in the crock pot probably tonight or like later today and prep it for the next few days because if I make it tomorrow and the power goes out, that would suck. So probably should do it today or tonight. Just need to decide when. So I have I just, all those ingredients. I just do it tomorrow. And instead of cream cheese, I'm doing it with um, cottage cheese. These thin, crisp triscuits, and they're the sour cream and onion ones. They're so good. And yeah, I'll show you guys all the ingredients that I got. I'm not gonna like um, um, show you guys every single ingredient. I'll show you later when I do with the re recipe. Then I also got some Fair Life milk. We got the regular. And we also got the chocolate. So this one we use for Ninja Creamy specifically. We did not get the regular. Oh, we did. You are gonna get it from Aldi later. Um, and also, I got these lime tortilla chips for the recipe as well. It's Asiago kale chopped salad kit and then romaine hearts. I usually, I've been using these lately to beef up my salad kits to make them last longer. Some tomatoes, avocados, cilantro, lime, onion, um, jalapenos, poblano peppers, cucumbers, um, onion, garlic, all of the produce. So I'm pretty sure that that's all of the stuff that we got. Happy Saturday, you guys. I was just sitting here working on a video and watching a vlog while I do that. I like to do that to help me multitask when I'm doing stuff that I don't like to do. I hate editing and it's the bane of my existence. And then I'm charging my kindle which is actually an ipad but i'm charging it because it died and i'll talk about my book selections in just a second because i have a review to give you guys i am obsessed with the book but i'll get to that anyways i'm just sitting here on this fine saturday <laughs> sean went to a football game today with his friends and i'm just going to be sitting here editing and like doing a little bit of work before i meet up with jules we are meeting at a bar around here to watch the georgia alabama game which i think is gonna be fun but i'm having a really nice time like having a little self-care day working a little bit watching some youtube and 
also reading by myself without Sean here. It's been actually really relaxing. So I'm like, oh, I don't even want to leave the house. I don't want to go out. I've been such a homebody lately though, like really isolating myself. So I know I need to get out and be social, even though we had friends over the other day. It doesn't really count because I'm not leaving the house and I'm really trying to put myself more out of my comfort zone and leave the house more often because I know myself I'm like a homebody and I like to be home and I work from home all day just sitting here doing this work okay let me do a little review on this book that I'm reading let me pull it up really quick okay so this is the book that I have been obsessed with and you guys know that I'm an Akatar girly to the day I die I love Sarah J Mass. I am obsessed with those book series like they are everything to me so i'm always kind of like chasing that feeling in a book series i am definitely a fantasy girl i can't even go back to regular romance there's only like one series that i'm like oh, okay it kind of lives up to the romanticy genre but but nothing compares in my opinion like i just once you go to romanticy you can't go back like I have to have magic or like a world building situation, some like war or like fighting, like cool powers. I have to have that in whatever book I'm reading now. It's just like really fun to escape into these worlds. And it's, I don't know, it's just so fun to me. So um, that's like all I read. So I'm always searching for that same feeling that I got when I read Akatar for the first time and Throne of Glass and Crescent City, like all of those SJM. And I've found a few books and I would be happy to go into like my TBR or like maybe do a book review video if you guys are curious or include it in a vlog. So definitely comment down below if you would like me to do that because I'm so happy to do that. I am an avid reader. I love fantasy or romanticy specifically happy to give some book recommendations but anyways let me talk about this series that i think i have found my new obsession my new favorite author in regards to romanticy it is giving akatar meets throne of glass but like smuttier and um more like tongue-in-cheek funny the banter is there and the fmc is like strong and does and just keeps leveling up like she doesn't lose her powers at the end which is like my favorite thing like i hate when the fmc is like super powerful like a god power and then loses all of it at the end like it gives it up or something like that shit pisses me off to no end so this book is not like that and it's so good i love all the all of the characters it's multi point of views and you just fall in love with all of the side stories and all the side characters they are just like amazing it's like the inner circle but you know everything about everybody and it's just like ah it's so good okay so this is the lady of darkness series there's five books in a novella wait four books in a novella maybe it's five books in a novella in the series and each book keeps getting better and better that's the best thing about the series like some series the like the middle books are like really mid these books get better and better like lady of starfire this is the final book in the series and i just got done reading this a couple weeks ago and it was a five out of five stars for me it had everything i wanted it was a shit show hot mess but like so amazing like there was so much going on it was just like a clusterfuck of amazingness like i don't even know how to describe it it was a lot of plot there was definitely some spicy moments like a lot of spicy moments a few okay um but the plot itself was just so good and i just found out this author her name's melissa rorick and she has a whole other series that's a similar world i'm pretty sure that there's like nods to this series in her other series in which i've heard amazing things about i've heard that that one is better than this one so if you are in the market for a similar feeling of book like i cried after i was done with this because i was just like i never wanted to end i want to live in this world it was so good and it's a very unique storyline like i think that um it takes like you can always make parallels to akatar and anything especially if that's what you're looking for like try to compare it to akatar because nothing will ever be akatar you know what i'm saying but this is a totally unique world 
to me and the nothing like I've ever read before and it has like combinations of everything in it but it's just like so so unique to me and it was incredible like this series I cannot rave enough about this series it is actually so good so if you are looking for that same feeling as Akatar and you're like I don't know where to start try this book series there's just like it gets very dark at some points but I really feel like that added to the story and made it so much more like gave the characters so much more depth and um even more so than Akatar at some points because it's very elaborated on and it shows you those scenes and it's like really heavy sometimes but it's very it really helps like build the book i wouldn't say darker it just shows you those scenes more so like you're kind of like living it with the characters at some points so i like that she wasn't afraid to do that versus akatar which was like they told you about some of those things but they never really portrayed it in the point of view of the character so it's um i don't know it's so incredible and it's just like really really well written like you almost like just get lost in this book and like feel like you're living in this book with these characters and that you are a character or like a bystander and it is just it's so amazing and the fmc is just so like sassy bitchy but like in the best way like it's giving alien kind of vibes but like also psychotic and like you're like what the fuck are you doing aelin i love her like she is my favorite fmc of all time but like scarlet she is just there's something about her i love her like she's up there with my top fmc's like that's how good this book series is and i cannot wait to read her next book series or the other one that's like has nods to this and i think that the books like are connected like there's a spot in this book that i'm like oh wait that might be something in a different her other series that may come up later so anyways i love that it's like all interconnected kind of like the sarah j mass the massiverse oh it's so good so i thought i would share with you guys if you guys want more book recommendations i'd be happy to do so i am a romanticy girl so if y'all are a romanticy girlies i'm right there with you like it is just so fun to read and yeah i like literally put multiple people on to akatar and they loved it too so if you haven't even read akatar bitch you better like it is so good i think if you want to make the transition into from romance into romanticy i think akatar is a really good way to do it because it kind of starts off a little bit more slow like it's a slow burner on the first book but then like once you get to like middle to towards the end of the first book you're like holy shit i'm hooked i'm a fantasy girly now um so yeah that is my book recommendation i'm just so obsessed with it and i had to share because i have no one to talk to about this my tbr is endless so i'm really trying to um like save up my reading energy until next month when it starts to get cold out because that's when it's cozy season and that's when i really try to build hobbies like that are inside that i love that are separate like from work and stuff like that and reading it has just helped me get through some of the hardest times in my life like i get seasonal depression so bad so reading has really helped me in those instances instances and i just can't wait for like I almost just can't wait for fall and winter so that I can cozy up and read my books and I'm like almost like holding off on starting other series and reading other series because or books that are on my TBR because I want to really like save them. It's like almost like a treat for me. But anyways, I'm going to hang out with Jules later. I'm going to pick out my outfit and then start getting ready. I'm like really not trying to stay out all night i really am just gonna go to the game and then like leave john's at the georgia state georgia southern game he went to southern i went to state and i'm like i want to go but i really don't care about those teams like i actually don't care um i did not go to that school for football anyways um so he's at that game with his friends and then i think he's either gonna meet us up meet up with us after for the Bama game or he's gonna come back here with his friends and watch it here I don't know but I'm gonna be out so yeah fun Saturday very chill I tried these blowout curlers from Amazon bought them a couple of 
days ago and okay my camera almost just fell but I decided to try them before for the first time before going to this game and I'm actually scared um I was gonna try them for TikTok but I was just too curious and I couldn't wait again until the next time I did my hair so I wanted to try them this time and see what it looks like my hair is still wet so it didn't like dry all the way I'm gonna have to blow dry it a little bit I also don't know how to put these in I'm really scared right now <gasps> why is it giving Sabrina Carpenter in the bangs area wait I mean it's still wet and it's very frizzy I'm gonna have to blow this out a little bit to straighten it but like oh my god it's so frizzy but it didn't it's just because it didn't dry all the way and I think I like needed to make it more and I think I needed to do it when it was a little bit drier oh my god the bangs actually look really good <laughs> wait I actually like it wait this is like new for me this looks the shape looks new for my face like it looks like I just got a haircut. It looks so 70s. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna blow it out a little bit and see if I can fix the ends. But I kinda like it. This is really cool. What do you guys think? <laughs> is it like 70s, 80s hair? This is 70s hair. Like I look like I just came out of a 70s movie. Who had hair like this? I mean, everybody. Right? It's good. It's good. <laughs> I kinda like it. Okay. Okay. I think I fixed it. All I did was blow dry it and like kind of smooth it out a little bit with a round brush. And I didn't touch the top, um, the front pieces. Not really bangs, I guess they're not really bangs anymore, but they're like front layers. I didn't touch those. So these are exactly how it came out, but everything else I kind of smoothed out and dried and it laid more smooth and flat. And I think it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you can't really tell in this lighting. It's kind of yellow in here. Really sorry about that. Anyways, my camera's about to die. I'm about to head out really quick before my camera dies. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. So I have this cute little simple long sleeve top and i believe this is from walmart and then my girlfriend denim jeans these are like the oversized jeans although these are the ones that aren't too oversized anymore kind of like grew into them unfortunately but anyways and then i just threw on this oversized um puffy vest from steve madden and i think i'm gonna leave it open but let's see what it looks like zipped up just just for funsies maybe i'll do this but i was gonna wear like sneakers but yeah this is the outfit and then i'm just gonna wear some white reeboks with it okay guys i gotta go but i will see you guys when i get there Good morning, you guys. Actually, it's one in the afternoon, sorry. Um, happy Sunday. So last night we went out to the bar and that was fun and then we came home at a decent time. The game literally went until midnight, so it was a really crazy game, but Georgia lost, unfortunately. But anyways, that ending though was crazy. Like we got our hopes up so bad, <sighs> whatever. Anyways, so that was fun. We saw some friends and um, my sister was there for a little bit too. And yeah, it was fun. But today it is, well, the sun literally just came out as I'm talking, but it's been kind of like overcast and just like, I don't know, giving wintry vibes, even though it's not that cold outside. It's just kind of giving like cozy fall vibes. So 
I want to make my cozy fall meals this is my go-to it's the easiest thing ever and it literally I mean there's a few ingredients like it's not it's a, it's not a lot of ingredients but it's very very simple and you can meal prep this for the week which is what I'm doing and I'm also making it for Sean so this is a one pot crock pot meal um, white chicken chili and it's a little bit spicy which is like in the best way and it's so freaking good so my mom makes it really well um, but she sent me the recipe that she uses and then she kind of like tweaks it to her own thing you know how moms do they always make it like different a little bit different every time they don't really use like measuring or anything so I follow the recipe um, I have made this on my channel before and I also put it on my Instagram stories So there's a link to the recipe in the description of this video also from back when we lived in San Diego um, I have one there and I'm probably gonna make it a little bit different today because I think I made it different then too I don't know it's I followed the recipe, but then I didn't I kind of tweaked it a little bit But I think that the recipe that my mom uses is from half big harvest and it literally takes I mean yes It takes like a while because you have to cook it on low for six hours but it'll be ready by tonight and it is literally like the best thing ever it's so easy and it's just really yummy so i'm gonna show you guys how to make it today and i'm really excited and then i'm also i think while i'm already here kind of making stuff i think i'm also gonna make this healthy and i wouldn't say healthy low calorie pumpkin dip and um you can like dip apples into it it's so delicious I've had pumpkin dip before, but like the full sugar. This one is a newer recipe for me, so I'm excited to see if it's any good. Okay, first step, I need to clean the space I'm gonna be cutting. And I have been using this cleaner that was sent to me. It's from Branch Basics, and it's essentially, they send you the bottles and they send you this big like jar of concentrate, and then it tells you where to add the concentrate or add water to the line, and then you fill it up with the concentrate and it's a different mixture for each kind of cleaner so there's all-purpose cleaner there's bathroom cleaner and it just like gives you different levels of the concentrate to use and this shit actually works and it's all natural and fragrance free which is nice so it's just like i don't know i just like the all natural ones and i was actually talking to my mom and she was like i noticed that things like really got more clean when i was using all natural products versus like super chemically chemically products so i found that really interesting because i mean i trust my mom she cleans a lot so um and she just started using them kind of recently and she said that they are just like so much better to use and she feels like i guess like safer using them which i believe her because when i use like really chemically chemically kinds of cleaners i feel like it's gonna get into my food and like i have to wash my hands and it dries my hands out and it's just like i hate cleaning with it so yeah i just hate that okay these bottles have got to go like why are these still here these are from the other night like why are these still out let me get this crock pot out all right, I'm gonna run through all of the ingredients really quick. So we have some fresh cilantro, poblano peppers, and two poblano peppers, and one jalapeno. I got a few limes because I like it really limey. You really only need one, maybe two, but I got three, especially because you're gonna use this in and on, so like as a topper afterwards, like squeezing on top. So you're gonna use like one lime in the actual recipe, and then you know what I'm saying. I got some garlic, you're gonna need fresh chopped garlic, and then you're also going to do fresh chopped onion, one medium onion, this one's kind of large, so I'm gonna save probably about like a third of this for Sean, he has a recipe that he's gonna use this in later this week, so I'm gonna save some for him. And you're also gonna need some chicken breast. I got two packs of this, so that's two pounds, but the recipe calls for one pound, but we're prepping this, so I'm gonna add more chicken more protein 
And then I also got these northern beans. You can use cannelli beans as well, but I just got these. I don't really know the difference. I don't really know the taste difference, but just some white beans. And then you need some cumin, some smoked paprika, chili powder, I believe garlic powder as well, and salsa verde. This one's a big one. I'm not going to use this whole thing. I'm going to save some um, for later. And then some low sodium chicken broth. Also, I totally forgot to grab this. But you're also, you're also going to want to get some sort of cream. So you can do cream cheese. The recipe calls for cream cheese, but I want this to be super high protein. So I'm going to use cottage cheese. And I'm actually going to blend this up. Um, to make it like more creamy because it's a little bit it has like the curds and it's a little bit lumpy So I'm gonna try to avoid the lumpiness by blending this and hopefully that works I'm, This is my first time trying cottage cheese instead of cream cheese. So I'm hoping that this is good You're also gonna want to get oh, I forgot to grab the cheese out Duh. Am I missing anything else? You're also gonna want some cheddar cheese. You can also do like Mexican cheese, like the Mexican cheese blend, but I just got sharp cheddar because that's what the recipe calls for. Um, but I think last time I used the Mexican blend, so it's really up to you. I think my mom uses the Mexican blend, but you can use whatever cheese that you want. I actually have some mozzarella in the fridge as well, so I might mix a little bit of that in as well. Okay, no, I think that's it. So yeah, this is all of the ingredients that you're gonna need. All right, here we go. So I'm actually gonna start with the chicken. Uh, I just wanna get that out of the way because I hate, one thing about me, I absolutely hate raw meat. Like dealing with raw meat, especially raw chicken is so ugh, disgusting to me. Like I might gag, honestly. Sean knows this about me and like I hate, hate raw chicken. So I'm gonna try to get that out of the way and I'm just gonna cut away all the fat. All right, I'm gonna use a different cutting board, like a plastic one for this. And then you know what? I actually might use this thing. We got this like thing from Amazon and it chops, grates, slices. It's one of these things and it like goes into the bottom of this. I might use that for the onion. Ugh, I hate raw meat, I hate raw meat. So disgusting. But I gotta get this fat off. I hate chicken. Raw chicken is just so gross to me. Sorry, I already said that. I know I'm like a complainer when it comes to chicken. I just think like it is some of the most disgusting ever but it's so good when it's cooked which is like super unfortunate and I just I think it's, it's just a texture thing and like the color it's just like very fleshy Ooh, I'm not gonna clean it like too much because I am gonna be shredding it so if there's any like fat left on it definitely will render I just am trying to take off like those super fatty parts and then I'm just gonna plop those right into the bottom of the crock pot that is a big piece of chicken. Uh, oh my God, you guys. I also have to tell you this insane story of something that happened to me last night and I'm still not over it and I did not sleep well because of it. I need to sink really quick. All right, starting out with these, okay, let me tell you this story really quick. Oh my God, you guys, it was actually insane how do i want to do this I'm just gonna so i <laughs> cannot believe this happened to me so last night i was sitting up on my phone we had we had gotten back in the bar we were in bed sean was asleep and i was just like watching tiktoks on my phone and i'm laying on my side phone in hand okay let me prop the camera let me show you how, this is how this happened. I was laying on my side, on my phone like this, on my pillow, all of a sudden, this is like um, 2.30 in the morning, and I'm about to go to bed, I'm about to turn my phone off and go to bed. 
all of a sudden I see something in the corner of my eye, right here on my pillow, crawl past me. Bitch, the way I jumped up, like jumped up out of my soul essentially, got up so fast because I knew, bitch, I knew when I saw that out of the corner of my eye, I'm like that, nothing crawls like that except for a spider. And if you know me, I do not with spiders. Like I do not with spiders. So I jump up. My soul leaves my body. I jump up out of bed. King spider that was this close to my face. Like I, I didn't see it. It like, I think, I feel like it was in my hair. Oh my God. I feel like it was in my, like on my head and it like crawled out. Ah! Oh my God. I don't even want to think about it. I was, it was literally so traumatizing. You guys like I almost threw up. Oh bitch. Oh bitch. I literally like could not breathe. I was like, oh no. So Sean went and killed it. And then he was like, I can't believe you like you made that. He was like half asleep. He's like, you're making this up. You're making this up. I'm like, bitch, no, I am not. Like there is a fighter in here. Like that shit almost crawled on my face. And it probably was like in my hair or something. And like, <laughs> you guys, I like, I literally could not breathe. It was not even funny. Like I actually thought that I was going to die. I thought I was going to die. Thank God I was up and on my phone because I would, it shit would have crawled on my face. It probably would have crawled in my mouth while I was sleeping or something. Like that is absolutely insane. And like, I, I don't know. I just, oh, bitch. I, I literally am unwell never chop onions i don't really eat onions like that it just i just like don't digest onions very well so i rarely eat things with onions and garlic but because this is cooked for so long it's fine okay i'm gonna use two-thirds of this onion and i'm starting to cry a little bit so i'm not gonna lie so anyways y'all that was really traumatizing and <laughs> i'm unwell <laughs> i'm actually unwell because of that next we're gonna do the poblano peppers and i don't really care if there's like a lot of season it because i honestly think it just makes it like a lot more flavorful and spicy and i'm also just gonna chop it right into the same thing this just makes it like super easy to to do just put it all in, right in the same thing now you can save some of this to put on top for after you can just make this however you really want to like if you want to add some jalapeno as the topping you can you can add like extra lime extra cheese like it's very just like an easy all-around recipe and it's just like up to preference which i like i like recipes like that where you can kind of just like play it by ear and like you really can't do it wrong. It's more be like beginner friendly. It's just easy like if you have kids and stuff and you're not trying to do the most for a meal. And this you can like cook in the morning or during the day and then let it cook all day and then you have it. You don't even have to worry about it at night. So I think this is great for like moms or people on the go. And it makes a lot of servings. I like to do fresh garlic. You can do the minced garlic if you really want to, but I think the fresh garlic gives it more of a more flavor all right we're doing seven because this is a baby one. Oh no oh this is two these well i guess we're doing eight let me know if you guys like this style of cooking video not cooking video but vlog where i'm cooking and like talking to you guys so they i feel like this is fun and usually i'll just like put on like a podcast or tiktoks or something or like a show while i'm cooking so that i entertain myself <laughs> um but i kind of like this talking it feels like i'm just like chatting it up in the kitchen now that we have all of that chopped up here we go all of that chopped up all of that is going right in the crock pot literally all you have to do is add chop shit up and add it to the crock pot it's which is lovely all right 
that garlic is burning my hands, so I <laughs> need to wash them. Beans are drained. In we go. Four ounces of cream cheese. So I'm gonna double it and put, because I doubled the chicken, I'm gonna put eight ounces of cottage cheese, so that's about half of this. All right, next is chicken broth. I do the low sodium, it's just better for you. And you're gonna wanna do four to six cups of that. I honestly just think, I usually just pour this whole thing in, but for this, I'm just gonna measure for you but yeah it's pretty much the whole thing is four cups like exactly four cups so for salsa verde i also eyeball it i love this brand i usually use like the smaller like the regular size this is a larger version but i usually use the whole thing of the regular size version so i'm just gonna pour most of this in probably like leaving about that much out i literally just eyeball you guys you can't go wrong like you could add more if you really wanted to i don't want to use this thing to blend the cottage cheese but i am going to because i just don't want this to be lumpy so i'm going to use about half of this thing Honestly, maybe I should just use the full thing. I mean, if I blend all of it, I don't have to use all of it. So I'm just gonna blend this whole thing. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna pour a little bit. I'm gonna pour about half of this in here. And maybe I'll use a little bit of this for the topping. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. I usually put it on low for six to seven hours. I'm gonna do six and then if I need to go longer, I can. So I'm gonna add about a cup in here. And then I'll add the seasonings and mix everything around. We're gonna do just squeezing one lime. And then we'll do, they'll save the rest of the limes for later. And really, you don't have to mix this around. Like, you can just let it sit and um, and then mix it around, like, in a couple of hours. But I kind of like to get all the flavors mixed in as much as I can. And this looks really full just because I have, like, the four pieces of chicken in there it won't be as full if you use less chicken but i honestly wanted to use that much chicken so and then i'm gonna chop up some fresh cilantro maybe half of this bunch and then i'll save the rest for later like i try to get rid of most of the stems but it's really it's really not that deep if you have some stems in your cilantro roll it up as much as possible i feel like this is the easiest way to chop it you're just gonna want to like squeeze it all together and then just start chopping away and obviously move your hand out of the way but i find that this is like just the easiest way to like get ah, as much chopped as possible and like finely chopped so you're gonna do it that way and then you're gonna bring it back around and do it the other way all of the cilantro was like half the bunch. So it doesn't really turn out to look like that much cilantro. So I am gonna add this whole bit in there because I like mine really fresh and cilantro-y and limey and herby. That's just my preference. You don't have to do, if you don't even like cilantro, you don't have to do cilantro. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna add some chili powder. Add a good amount of that. Some smoked paprika good amount of that i just like to eyeball this and you can always taste it later when it's already cooking and then season it more that way and then i'm going to add some cumin some salt and pepper i'm 
Then we're gonna give this a bit of a stir. Okay, then we're gonna cover this and leave it for six hours. It's really easy. I took a really long time because I was talking and explaining through, but it literally can take you like 20 minutes to prep this. And yeah, we're just gonna leave it and then maybe like around hour five, I'm gonna pull the chicken out and shred it and put it back in. I think next, since I'm already here cooking, I'm gonna make the pumpkin dip and that needs to set before we can eat it. So um, I'm gonna make that really quick. All right, this next one is extremely easy and it literally is only three ingredients. So this is a, well, actually I will say four ingredients because you gotta season it. So this is a low calorie pumpkin dip. I also want to say you can make a high protein version if you'd like. I didn't go that route this time. I literally didn't even think about it, but you can use Greek yogurt in this if you want to, like plain Greek yogurt and do it that way. But today we're gonna do Cool Whip, zero sugar. I did the math and this is 20 calories per serving and there's 25 servings, which is 500 calories for this entire thing, uh, which is pretty good because you're not gonna be eating this entire thing at once. And then we have some pumpkin, pureed pumpkin. You can just get it in the can from like Kroger or something. And this is 45 calories for three and a half servings per container. So this is like 150 calories for this container alone. And then you're gonna do Jello zero sugar. And this one is 100 calories per thing. So overall, this whole thing is gonna be like 800 calories but you're not eating this all in one sitting. Like this is definitely a lower calorie version. And then to season, you're gonna use some pumpkin pie spice. This one is from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the pumpkin. Oh my gosh. It's getting fall. You're just gonna put a whole Packet. Let's start with half the packet of this because I feel like that's the whole packet is a lot. Let's start with that and then start mixing. And then you're just going to mix all of this in. Okay, I'm actually going to add the full thing in because I think you're going to need all of the pudding mix to set. And then I'm going to add pumpkin spice seasoning in. You can already see it's kind of starting to set a little bit more and like peak. So, it's just a little bit more thick. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, this is what it looks like at the end. And I'm just gonna stick it back in this Cool Whip container, put this in the fridge to let it set for about four hours. I don't know what, what it is, but I love cooking like around fall or like baking, cooking, all that kind of stuff. I just, it feels a little bit, I, I like it as like a hobby when it gets colder out because I feel like summer I'm on the go it's really really simple whole foods and then when fall comes around I'm kind of like wanting to make more complex recipes that are hot but like in the summer it's like kind of too hot for me to make certain meals so during fall and winter is when I really like to experiment and branch out from the norm and I just crave like more hearty meals all right you guys i will check back in later thanks for cooking with me <laughs> although that was kind of long-winded but let me know if you like the style of me like talking and explaining it as i'm as i'm going it's more fun i feel like i'm facetiming you guys while i'm cooking this stuff so it's more fun for me taking out the chicken i forgot to take it out an hour before so this is 20 minutes before the timer goes off which is fine I know the chicken's cooked because it's literally falling apart with me grabbing this out of here, so that's good. I'm just going to grab a couple pieces at a time. Look how it's falling apart. Yes, perfectly cooked. I love cooking chicken like this because it just is so tender, I guess that's a good word. Like, it just falls apart so easily. I'm barely having to even shred it, which is means that it's perfectly cooked right now. And so I'm just gonna stick that back in. Here is what it's looking like. It looks so good now. Shredding the chicken really helps thicken it up a little bit. I was getting worried there and I did actually leave it 
on for another like 30, 45 minutes after I shredded the chicken, just so it could absorb the juices. And then in the meantime, I cut up some more cilantro, avocado, tomato, and limes. And then I also am gonna use some of the rest of the cottage cheese that I blended earlier as sour cream for the topping. And then I'm also gonna do some of these lime tortilla chips that we have. And I need to go grab the cheese, but I'm gonna also gonna use that as a topping. All right, I'm gonna add some avocado. Some tomatoes. And then add lime on top. And they're probably gonna do two limes. Top with some cilantro and a little bit of this cottage cheese, like a dollop. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Chips. Add a little bit of cheese as well. It's so good. Whoa. It's a lot of flavor. All right, I just cut up some apples and opened up the pumpkin dip and I just sprinkled a little bit of the pumpkin seasoning on it to make it look cute, but it looks so good. So I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh my God. It tastes like a more lightweight pumpkin pie filling. Oh my God. Sean, do you wanna try this? Holy crap. It's giving ball. Ball is here. Looks so good. Successful day of fall cooking. Yes. 